Hi guys, you're welcome back to the channel. So today's this is on actress Abibat Jinnad and also um Mide Fumi Martins. So there there's this um program that actress Biola Debayo does on Instagram. Actually on YouTube she drops snippets on Instagram for people to just you know have a picture of what she's about to drop on YouTube. So this time around she brought her she brought um she invited fellow actor Abibat Jinnad and let me give you a backstory on Abibat Jinnad. Actually Abibat Jinnad is one industry and for say Missimo, I think I have, the first time I saw her on screen was about 2004. So that should be like 20 years ago. Tell me real that me I know Timo read, you know, growing up. So she's actually not a small girl in the industry. So what happened there was that for those who know Abibat Jinnad very well, Abibat Jinnad is actually a dark person, you know, then after some years she was no longer in the industry. I noticed she wasn't in the industry, but thanks to social media, uh she started coming back and when I later came across her, she was already fair, like very fair, oti pupa, oti lo cream. But not everybody would come out to ask questions because everybody the only choice they like to make she's an adult nobody say that to look cream i think it's what she wants to do with her life so now a lot of people noticed a lot of people actually questioned her like wow how come she look cream in white she mabura black is beautiful black is this and that so i think about a few years ago she started coming back to her color and a few months ago she talked about her color like two three times on her instagram page but how on your phone still a um bleach mo um bura mo in koto um unto veshe lo um she i how on your if you come ah like they should just live alone with her decisions that she wants to be uh dark the way she used to be and this is her choice not until she came to Biola Bayo's program ibelo ti wa shala ye pe reason by by lo fa ti mo fi bura pe nima tu unko she theater then unko she theater lo do o komi de matinzi ya fizo wo so that during one of their rehearsals, being koko shile okay, kule si being kule si being kwe everybody kule. That me they just came here, yeah, yawoga, and I was like, ele to shoju bi na bi na na mungo kumbi enda. At that moment, she had this low self esteem, but that she be ni mo juju toni. That she said it took her years to even understand the statement. But later to umbre la unyo kwe kilonje na na mungo abi koko nonche wa sofu kwe o bolunje be. We pass by no cigarettes. Ni nos idea kwe kumbora. Ni kwe mbato da ya mtu fi kwe black is beautiful. Now this is what a lot of people think. Why some people see it as an excuse? Ivo ni uti fe bora tele ni. O shi masa kwe roti mi de sofu en lo je kubora. Then some people have the opinion that e yi loun to ba ti jabo o shi kumo. And at the same time that what O mani fet lara wun yon, jura wun lo. To ba sok po roto so, lo je koni lo se vestin, pe bo yon wun fine bi yon dudu. It is very possible. And, tomba de yon ko possible, I mean, people have different opinions to situations. But, e mi ko fi kwe, this will just, you know, let us understand that we have to be, ane la ti ni empathy towards people. We have to watch what we say, ni ba mi, because, I'm very sure Queen Midi Martins Golly Mamma Kun Sorry. I'm very sure she might not remember she said it. But any I want you to bani any to yagbe or man bagbe any to co cooking bagbe. I think that is just what I would use to describe the situation. I'm very sure Midi might not even know she said something like that. Um me sure Queen Midi respond and I don't think she'll respond because if you know Midi Martins very well. Me rope man, she all the social media drama thing, but as some people believe the kind of person she is, automatic pay a bit, but all possible could apologize. And so, guys, that is it on Midday Martins and a bit, but now let me know what you think in the comment section. And do not forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed.